Hey, welcome to the command center. I want everybody to feel comfortable and at home. So as the name of the video said, uh, what will happen come fall and winter this year? I guess that is the big number one question. And once again, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I welcome you to my channel. If you haven't been to my channel, you're new to my channel, you're just watching one of my videos for the first time, uh, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit that little bell, and you'll get notified every time that I do a video. So let's get back to the, I guess to be the question at hand, um, is what will happen come fall and winter with everything that is going on? Now there's a lot of things that are going into play in this. Um, one, you have the Charlie Victor 19 that's going on. That hasn't gone anywhere. Um, as if everybody probably remembers, uh, back when this first started, they were all talking about how when summertime would roll around and with the heat, it would kill the virus off like it does the flu. Well, obviously we're not dealing with the flu virus. Didn't take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. This one is a different generation, um, a whole different species. It has its own little characteristics and um, it seems to be mutating a little bit from what I've been reading here or there. So, uh, the heat hasn't killed it off. Down here in Florida, you know, the heat indices are 100 to 110, and boy, she's thriving like crazy. Charlie Victor 19 is just going through the ceiling. So, that's not working. <clears throat> they do say that it likes cold weather. So, come fall and winter, does that mean that there's going to be a even bigger spike? I don't know. What is your comments on that? What do you think? Put in the comments down below. So, on top of that going on, we have uh, the election coming up in November, which either way it goes is probably going to be um, one side's going to say this and one side's going to say that and you know the same old politi political uh, BS that goes on. Um, you're going to have groups that are unhappy, you know, you already have a lot of different ethnic groups out there that are unhappy right now and um, all that is going on. So I think all this is all going to play into uh, with the election. We're also still dealing with food shortages um, in the stores. Uh, the shelves aren't completely full like they were the same time last year. Cleaning supplies, forget it, at least in this state, you can't buy cleaning supplies to save your life. You can get paper towels and toilet paper, yes, that's on the shelves again. Um, but if you want something to clean with, anything with the word Lysol on it, forget it, you're not gonna get it. Um, good luck getting it online because they're all currently out of stock, quote unquote. Don't you just love how they do that? And even if you go to Lysol, uh, their website, you can't buy anything on there. It's currently out of stock. So obviously even in the factories, they don't have anything. But I think on the other hand, um, they're more willing to sell to the big corporations than they are to the American people. So they're probably mass producing all their products to give to or sell to all these huge uh, corporations and the hospitals and things of that nature and we get whatever is left which is nothing at least down here if you live in an area where you can get those products I just did a video on um, some of those products and stuff and you may want to make sure that you just pick up a few extra ones because if something happens and this comes back around, you ain't going to get it. Buy a few extra, throw them in your hall closet or under the sink or wherever you store your stuff and just leave it there. You'll eventually use it. It's not going to go bad. So <clears throat> there's a lot to play into this coming fall and winter. Um, luckily, the Saharan dust so far this year coming off of Africa 
has been really active and very thick and it's suppressed a lot of storms. Now, how long this is gonna last for? You know, we're coming into the third week of July right now and it can't last forever. So we've been lucky so far. I know in this state, I'm sure in some of the other states that uh, can take a direct hit from a hurricane are in the same boat. Whereas if they do issue hurricane evacuations, are the people going to actually evacuate? Or are they going to choose to try to play it safe? Because for one, a lot of the hotels and stuff are still closed or limited to rooms. So where are people going to go? Are they just going to get in their car and start driving and live out of the car and pray to God that their house is still there when they get back? Or are they going to try to maybe stay in their house and ride out the storm and take what they get? I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess it depends on how strong a storm is and if it's going to be a direct hit to my area. Uh, that'll be the deciding factors and I'm pretty sure that's going to be the deciding factors in most of cases along the shorelines where a hur hurricane, major hurricane, will strike. So, <clears throat> in closing, I think this fall and winter is going to be a very interesting fall and winter. I think we're going to see, um, unfortunately, the way things are going right now with a lot of states ramping up in their numbers and a lot of states not doing so much to control it. Uh, some states are. Um, other states, as in mine, the governor just doesn't want to, um, I guess, a good term would be fold the cards and admit that you know, he opened too soon, and um, so we'll see how this all plays out. So, my name is Charles. This has been Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I do have a couple of new playlists out there if anybody's interested. Uh, one is Best of the Best, and the other one is Hurricane Season 2020. So if you need any information out there on how to, to survive a hurricane or the best of the best videos, check them out. Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.